Previously on Hockey Wives. Daniel and Taylor Winnick. It's just an incredible feeling. It's pure bliss. It's better if you agree before going on arbitration because it's never the contract you want. I just want him to sign and be done with it. This whole thing has to be figured out. Right. You don't want your kid to stand out and be the different one because it opens the doors for bullying. I'm scared. It would have been the perfect summer, but there's always that shadow of Brennan being traded to Vancouver. I feel like I spend the whole summer being in denial. There's one day during the year that I get more excited than Christmas. Rip Fest. I love Rip! Beb, settle down. We're going to Rip Fest with two of our really good friends, Zach and Marco. What's your best seller? Butterbeer. Butterbeer. You did a butterbeer. It smells so good. It's like the best time of the year. It's hard for both of us that Brennan got traded to Vancouver. Cheers, kids. 2015. The end of the summer is right around the corner, and I know that my schedule is going to be crazy this fall. So I'm trying to take everything in because I know it's like this close to end. Hi. Can you put a straw in there for me? Oh my God. Don't be scared of putting stuff on it. It's like smoky, but not too much. It's sweet, but not too much. It's like juicy and and salty. And can I have some right now? But I've been thinking. Don't even use your hands. Put your face right in there. Just go right in there. Pull all that meat off that bowl. Two hands, double fisting. <laughs> you should have got extra sauce. Here. I'll give you all my shots. There you go, baby. Sharing is caring. I can't breathe anymore. I might need an IV. Why can't we just retire and live here and eat ribs? What? Obviously, I'm going to miss those little moments that Brent and I get on a daily basis. It's especially that that I'm going to miss. When Brandon was playing in Montreal, I would get to see you guys during the season. Well, we'll just have to come see you and not Brandon. Yeah, go visit her, then I don't have to buy you guys tickets. <laughs> Are you going to miss these guys? Yeah, you're going to miss not us. Not them. I'm going to miss you. I'm still in denial. If I think about what's going to happen when we're separated, it stops me from enjoying the moment. I feel like I got more ribs on my outfit than in my mouth. Doug, Robin, and Dan on Country 105. Hey, Claudette, nice to talk to you again. It's the odds from Country 105. Hi, good to talk to you guys, too. I'm doing an interview this morning with a local radio station to talk about the upcoming golf tournament I'm hosting. Ryder attends a really great school that you think the world of, and you made a special fundraiser for them. Yes, you buy into a round and you get to golf with a hockey wife. Players and former players, too. Yep. We're going to try not to make it about them because it's always about them. So, we, uh, <laughs> us wives are more interesting than the guys anyways. You guys want me high? Okay, this is going to go very high. I love having Jason home. It's nice having him to wrestle and be with the boys, especially for Ryder. He loves it. <laughs> I'm so glad we get to be together next season. But first, it's time to start packing and getting ready to move. Laura? Yes? What size trailer do you think I should get? We're definitely going to miss Laura. She's a big part of our family. She's bigger? Yeah. So that way, if you have extra stuff, at least you're covered and you're not going to freak out. Why would I freak out? <laughs> I have to plan a golf tournament and plan a move. Moving from place to place, you definitely get used to it, but your anxiety is still there about it. Oh, my gosh. Okay. There's a lot to do. I'm leaving in 12 days. The girls are coming in for the tournament. I have to welcome them at the hotel. We have Tiffany Peros, Rihanna Weaver, Martine Forge, Bridget Whitney, Emily Blum, Angela Price, Ashley Booth, and Taylor Winnick. Congrats, you guys. Jason used to play hockey with Dan in Phoenix, so I've known Dan since then. This is my girlfriend, Kelly. Hi. Yep. Can you guys just get married? Yes, yep. two weeks ago. Congratulations. I'm really happy to be here, and it feels really good to be helping out. 
I have known Brianna for a little while now. Her husband, Mike, used to play in L.A. with Jason years ago, so we keep in touch and we have fun together. Yay, Martine! Ah, you hottie! Martine is easily one of my favorite people in the entire hockey world. Oh, Martine! Pretty much have a crush on her, to be honest. How are you? How are you? Martina, I can't stop looking at your butt. No, it's gone. No, that's a lie. I'm Perfect. eating like crazy. I went to see my doctor. I'm like, I'm for sure I'm sick. She's like, no, you're not sick. You know what? I love like birds. That's why I'm like, I need to think. Yeah, trust me. I know. Still don't feel bad for you. Thanks for coming, you guys, honestly. Are you kidding me? When I found out about it, I was so excited. Dan was like, wait, that's too close to our honeymoon. I was like, you're going. <laughs> Did you guys go on your honeymoon? Yeah, we just come back on Friday. Where'd you go? Maldives. Was it amazing? So worth it. Coming back, it was a 36-hour travel day. And the kids on the airplane, I swear, they just had no parental guidance. They were, like, screaming and throwing things at the stewardesses. Sometimes you can't help it. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of girls coming, and I've been to. Yeah, some husbands. <laughs> Jonathan is in Montreal right now, so he was not able to come. Jason and Jonathan could have skated together like they used to. He could train. Dan brought his stuff. Brought his hockey bag. What a smart guy. Oh, no, he's not really that smart. I, I told him he had to come. <laughs> like, I'm just going to go nurse. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me go. I love catching up with Tiffany. We just get each other. Oh, look at her. Hi, I'm Taylor, by the way. Yep. I have a really big problem with new people because I feel like I'm constantly explaining I'm not serious or, you know, I didn't mean it that way or whatever. What is that? Wedding cousin Martine. Oh, my God. Like every f girl in the NHL has that Cartier bracelet. Like you're not clever for getting it. I wanted one like for 10 years, thank God, finally. The things you wanted in your 20s don't mean the same to you in your 30s. I love it. It's so pretty, I know. Sorry. I'm so glad you're here. What would I do without you? Tiffany kind of like made fun of us. I don't know, it was weird. And I've like pulled my wrist and I was like, we don't have to talk about this. I hate this kind of attention. You said she's not flashy, but it's flashy. Uh, yeah. It's like really awkward. Tiffany has a lot going on. She's like been in the game for a while. She knows who her friends are and she's not like, you know, welcoming everyone into open arms or anything like that. I don't think Tiffany's that tough on people. If you don't get it and take it personally, then we carry on. Oh, I have your guys' little bags too for you. I put a large in because your boobs are huge, so. <laughs> Which button are we allowed to go down to? You can do whatever you gotta do. I don't know why everyone thinks I'm golfing. You I don't know why they think I'm golfing. What was my only request? Yeah, a bullhorn, okay. I want a bullhorn. I want to just go around in the cart. And I want to drive a beer cart drinking. and sell the beer. We're driving everybody around. Oh my god. <laughs> We're golfing. Sorry? They buy into a round with a hockey wife. You gotta take a whack at the ball. Are we gonna be with people that we don't know? Yeah. Oh, crap. So strangers are gonna see how terrible I am. Round is 18 holes? Yeah. Oh my god. That is what I said in the email. It's pretty clear. I'm stressed. It all just hit me and I just totally lost it. You can hang out in the golf cart, drink, eat a f sub, and then like take a whack at the ball and go back and hang out in the cart. God, it's not like I'm asking you to have the highest score. I've never put on a golf tournament. This is totally new to me. Sorry, we were, we're stressing you out. No, I will entertain the out of these people, I promise That's you. all I ask. Welcome to my channel, part of my French. Maybe if you watch my channel, you'll find me learn French. I probably won't be watching. He's such a liar. I know he's gonna watch it. Martine is absolutely terrified of horses. Oh! Is he gonna be fine? Oh yeah. See, you're fine. to the driving range with Martine, Tiffany, and Ange. I think it's good for us to hit a few balls so we kind of look like we know what we're doing. What are we doing? We're hitting. Grab a club. Oh, seven. That's my go-to. You have a go-to? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to whoop our oh, ass. No, I'm not. <laughs> I like to get together with the wives as much as possible. I'm happy to be there for a codet, but my golf ability is probably about at a five. I'm really inconsistent, so you never know what we're going to get when we go out there. Ange is a professional with two clubs. <laughs> I need the practice. <laughs> I don't plan on winning tomorrow. Okay, let's try. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm not on Martine's team. <laughs> <laughs> practice is always good. You just hear like, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with practice, Martine. Don't ask me to teach you. My golf skills on a scale of one to ten. Oh. 
Three. <laughs> nope. Two. Good swing, Kodak. Good, Good swing. Right? Nice follow through. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Just make yeah. sure you have a proper grip on the shaft there, Tiff. <laughs> That's what I learned in high school. You took golf in high school? Yeah. And you're saying you're awful? Well, high school wasn't four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put my hair up. I'm getting serious here. <laughs> Got her. Who was that? Not me. Yeah. That was lucky. She is good. I'm not good. Oh, that was good. good nice. <laughs> Tell the other girls we practice. Nope. <laughs> What's a good score in golf? Like, I feel like Carrie always hits like a 70, and that's good. George is pissed he doesn't get to see Carrie. Carrie couldn't make it to the golf tournament. He had a goalie day camp with one of his old goalie coaches. Jonathan is like a good trainer and goalie coach. Yeah. It's been like the same person the whole like time that he was playing hockey. Yeah, same with Jason. Yeah, like he loves his trainer. I know. Like, he would never leave Calgary in the summers just because, just because of that, trainer. yeah. <laughs> That's why Jonathan doesn't want to move anywhere. Do you feel like the outcast when you're not married to a goalie? Yeah. <laughs> huh? Just all these, like, goalie wives. You guys are all strange. I like strange people. <laughs> 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 Gotta be strange to marry strange. It is effing hot outside. Can we golf in bikinis? <laughs> no, I don't want to be beside Martine, then. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be wearing a crop top anyways. Oh. It's a really cool street. Ah, yeah. Get out of there. I just want a handful, real quick, no. real quick. You already got one. Real quick. You can't go back for seven. Real quick. You're married to me. It's my butt now. It's half your butt. You get the right cheek. Oh, that's nice. Calgary is famous for the cowboys and the horses and Stampede, and Martine and I are going horseback riding later, so I asked Dan to take me to, like, an authentic cowboy store to get myself a cowboy hat. This is awful. Well, it's too big. You gotta try the pink one on. That one? Oh, you're me. <laughs> you I deserve that. It actually looks pretty good. No! God. Ugh. Dan's got a sweet ass, but Dan and Shafts is pretty ugly. <laughs> I'm like, there you go. Oh, that fits. Oh, look at you. Match this with the Des duster. Desperado. The with the duster. <laughs> You can't show up your golf in the dumpster. What? I always pictured myself marrying some kind of Silicon Valley guy like my father. Ah! You're perfect. You look like an idiot. Oh my god. But I love being married to Dan. He's like my rock. He's just the little peach. He's so cute. Hmm. That one actually looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> really? Yeah. This one's my favorite thus far. Good? Oh yeah. All That's right. good. You're so freaking comfy. It's unreal. So I know you're my soulmate. Martine is absolutely terrified of horses. She had a bad experience and is not willing to let it go at all. So I want to start helping her with that. I want like a small one like to that. the ground. <laughs> if I you're, fall. You're not going to fall. I'm like, there we go. And we're going to do like for an hour. I'm like, ah. Martine, I have a surprise for you. Okay. You bought it today? Dan helped pick it out because, you know, he's such a fashionable guy. Okay, that's Boy. perfect. Oh, it looks great on you. Okay, but now I'm like, I look like professional. Oh. Yeah, and I'm going to be like... <laughs> Don't worry, my little one. I'm so happy you're here. This a little guy, we can put you on him. But is he like very calm? Very calm, quiet guy. A couple of years ago, I saw a little girl falling in front of me. The horse just running and running. And None of these guys will do that. You guys will be fine. How can you know that he's not going to jump or like do crazy stuff? You want to grab your reins here and your mane and just jump on oh! him. Is he going to be fine? Oh, yeah. Martine, you're okay. Get on the horse. Get on the horse. You'll be okay. See, you're fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Mickey. It's my guy. It's for you. Oh! I'm gonna have a heart attack. There you go. There we go. Slowly. I'll have you turn Zeke over towards me. Alrighty, and we can ask them to stop, so pull back. Stop. You can release your hands forward, and they know they've done their job. So we're done? Martine, quit freaking out. You're fine. All right, 80. Follow me. We'll head on out. There you go. You look good. God bless you. God bless you.
I feel like the strongest relationship I have is with Martine. She's a really awesome person, so it's great to see her again. So what happened with Jonathan's arbitration thing? I was reading it on all the news reports, you know? Yeah, I know. He signed for two years, so we're going back to Toronto. Jonathan's contract is $8.3 million for two years. We're back in Toronto. I'm so happy you're coming back. I know. It's not, I'm so happy, Martine. <laughs> I always had a feeling that we were coming back, but, you know, you never know. And yeah. when I found out, like, the first thing that popped in my head was that I get to be with all you guys again. And it's like, you know, I like I like meeting new people, but I don't like starting over in no, new cities. No, it's so stress it's, when you're going in a new city. Like, new team, meeting new girls. You never, you know. never know if they're going to like you or yeah. if you, like, you know, don't get along with somebody. And I got along with everybody in Toronto. Sometimes being a hockey wife, this, like, catty, dramatic girl drama, I can't relate to it. Even though I'm really social, I always have, like, a twinge of intimidation about meeting people, like, just in case they don't like me or my opinion. You know, sometimes you don't rub people the right way. It's just how it works. Yeah. Kind of mentally affects me. Like, why wouldn't this person like me? I never did anything to them. But there's really not much I can do about it. I just laugh and move on. Like, last night when I was looking at your brace, that Codette and Tiffany started laughing. And I was like, why are you girls were laughing? I don't know. I'm like, okay. I'm just going to go ahead and assume that they were telling each other a really funny joke and not laughing at us. Yeah. <laughs> they were laughing about a bracelet, and there's nothing funny about a bracelet. My mom, my dad didn't raise me that way. Like, when people are talking, you just you just don't laugh in front of them. I don't know. It, I, I, I saw that, too. I didn't really know what to make of it. I think that's rude. Like, we don't have to talk about my bracelet. It's cool. But there's nothing to laugh about. I know. We all have nice things. That's so weird. You can't please everybody. No. Nope. I'm so upset. I don't know. This is just everything. If something happens in this bobsled, there is a winger position open, and Dan and David happen to have the same job. I'm trying to kill my husband. <laughs> I think for this one, for the yeah. Kin channel, this will be the very first video that we launch with. Oh, are we? Yeah, so it'll just have to really set it up. Today we're filming the first few segments for my online series, part of my French, and it's a part of the Kin community channel on YouTube. Kin is a woman's lifestyle digital community. Just say this video I'm calling... For looks four weeks. Four weeks, yeah. Okay. I'm so excited to finally work in English. I wished it for so long. There could be opportunities coming in the future, and my Kin channel is gonna help make my name out there. Hey, P, you hungry? Yeah, give me a uh, five minute. I've been slaving over this for at least an hour. Bonjour, c'est Maritia. Welcome to my channel, part of my French. Bonjour. <laughs> Every week. Uh... Bonjour, welcome. No. I'm still really nervous to work in English. Bonjour, c'est Maritia. Welcome to my channel, part of my French. <laughs> Every week, I will release videos uh, to give you my... I... <laughs> <laughs> it's frustrating sometimes with English because it is not my first language, but I want to be as good in English as I am in French and be as spontaneous and funny. Every week, I will walk you through how to dress and act like a French uh, weirdo. Okay. It doesn't come easy. It's hard to focus on work with Brennan leaving for Vancouver. It was the perfect summer with the engagement and having some time to relax with Brennan. And now we're going to be separated. It's kind of cute. It's kind of fun. And it makes it look different. I feel like I have such a good momentum. I don't want to lose it. But I also know that if I want my relationship to work, I'm going to have to be the one that has to pass on things. Am I ready to do it? It's a challenge. But I love him. Nice to meet you. I just got in town and I'm going bobsledding with Taylor, Martin, and Dan. We're having a little mini Leafs reunion in Flames Country. David wasn't free to come on this trip. He, of course, is training because this summer he is a free agent. Who wants to sit in the front? I kind of do. You kind of oh. do? <laughs> wow, okay then. I love Taylor. She's a ball of energy. Anyone nervous? Anyone got any last questions or anything? Is it true someone pooped their pants at the end of the run? <laughs> Dan's gonna be the one to poop his pants. I know. I'm calling it now. 
We'll see. I might do in my pants. Martine is so sweet. She actually gave me some guidance into the modeling industry when I first came to Toronto. She was one of the ones that actually took me under her wings. So that was really nice because we both work in modeling and she just kind of gets it. So if we roll, we do this, right? Yeah, we go So behind. if we're about to die. You gotta burrow. And if someone doesn't move forward, the person behind you is screwed, by the way. Hopefully you won't die. Or Toronto will have to sign another winger. What are you getting at? Oh, I did not mean it like that. <laughs> I would never wish it upon anyone, but if something happens in this bobsled, there is a winger position open, and Dan and David happen to have the same job. Try to kill my husband. <laughs> Track is clear for Taylor, Daniel, Ashley, and Martin. This is definitely more reckless than hockey. Yeah. yeah. You guys are pretty reckless in hockey, though. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know where the puck's gonna go, hence my face. You guys should have seen his nose before he I smashed guess, it. I guess that's why they both helmets full. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Squatting is not my strong suit. There you go. Yay! It is bittersweet to be leaving Toronto because I love these girls, and David really fell in love with the guys on the team. It's hard. I hope David's in Toronto. We need you. We need our original yeah. gang. So you guys are waiting for contracts? Yeah. It's been pretty silent this summer. Everybody, all the free agents. Really well, yeah, silent. they're all sitting around, really talented guys. The worst part about it is we've basically signed up for a life of not knowing where we're going. Well, hopefully David's next, because that's it's stressful. Last year, Dan didn't go until the end of July, and it was, like, tearing us apart. We hated it. Yeah. So I get it. I'm so bringing on. It's kind of stressful to do this in English, I'm trying to be natural. But I'm looking for my words. Like, when I'm nervous, it's like I don't speak English anymore. People don't mind if you screw up in English. People think it's cute. Yeah. We're always ending our segments with a French word, like a sassy word. So maybe if you watch my channel, you'll finally learn French. I fall asleep in the stands. I'm not really proud of it, but I mean, I work a lot <laughs> doing defense. I'm a professional napper. <laughs> so, I spoke with Suzanne. Suzanne is my agent, and I feel like sometimes Brandon thinks that it's because of her that I work so much, but in fact, it's because of me, because I'm the one saying yes or no at the end of the day, so I should lift my foot from the gas sometimes. Like, nothing is sure yet, but I'm gonna try and come once in September and then once in October and then you come in November. That's a tough one. <laughs> Suzanne will book you. To take care of. It's it's very stressful. So where were you last year? Toronto. It was pretty intense. Everyone has an opinion about anything that he does. It's a lot of pressure there. Now I feel like I can take on any city. Yeah. I had a lot of fear about what this would mean for our sweet little boy. Everyone's like, you're not a crier. I'm like, well, I'm a mom. It's golf tournament day. Anytime you do something like this, it's nerve-wracking. The purpose of this golf tournament is so that we can give back to riders' school and their home program. I'm just gonna sort these. My sizes? Yeah. I just really want everyone to have fun. It's just really important to me that everyone leaves having a good time. How are you? Bloody. Me too. Want a hug? Yeah. I'm fine. It's stressful. Party bus here. Oh my god, this bus is huge. How many friends I got on there? Here. <laughs> it's always good to see Bridget. I really miss having her as my neighbor in Scottsdale. I need you. When I'm doing something as big as this, it's just nice to just see your face there. Hi, George. Good morning. 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 Good
Emily has decided to come to the golf tournament, and I'm so glad she did. John signed in Russia for this season, so they will be having a long-distance relationship this year. Hi, I wish I was thanking you. Here you go. This for you. Thank you. Oh, that worked out well. Hi. Hi, how are you? So this tournament feels a little bit like a wedding. You have so many people there, and summers are so short for hockey friends. Some of them came from a long ways, and Jason and I are so grateful. Okay, time to start. Tyler, come back. Nice to meet you. No pressure. Ah, oh, mulligan. <laughs> I'm going to get better. I don't know if you know this, but I'm competitive. Okay, everyone turn around. <laughs> All right. Crush it! To add to the fun, there are bonus activities like axe throwing and oyster shucking. Oh my god, look how close axe throwing is. This is our jam right this here. I always did better one-handed. Oh. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> yeah! Nice! Oh. Yeah. Gonna bounce back in there. <laughs> and voila! All the holes should be downhill. Very that helpful. was easy. <laughs> Very helpful. Oh no. Oh! This is the first time that I've met Bridget and Emily. This whole year has been really overwhelming. Oh, in a good way, but... Yeah. I mean, so is he, is really he a free agent right now? Yes. Okay. Is. Bridget, it seems like she can talk to anyone, and Emily's been very helpful to talk to during this weird point in our lives right now. So where were you last year? Toronto. So that was my first season awesome. in the midst of this craziness. Oh, okay. It wasn't like... Oh my gosh, and you got thrown into a big city. Yeah. Toronto Make Believe Hockey, original six. It was pretty, um, it was pretty intense. Everyone has an opinion about anything that relates to hockey. It's a lot of pressure there. Yeah. Now I feel like I can take on any city. Yeah. Yeah, after <laughs> that. All right, I'll try one. Good one. Are you going over there to Russia? <laughs> no. I'm going to hopefully visit at least once for like two weeks. Yeah. And see him, but I just don't feel safe living there and... We're trying to kind of figure out long distance marriage. I don't know what's going to happen, but I know that my life is totally different from how it was before. Emily had a lot of experience with her husband last year, just being very uncertain about where they would go. Having someone to relate with is amazing to me. But what about you guys? Where are you guys? Any prospects? <laughs> we have no idea at this point. David, of course, has been training every single day, and, but there hasn't been any negotiating yet. I know that he has tunnel vision with the NHL. I guess we have a little bit more time, but I don't know, you never know. He wants to keep playing hockey as long yeah, as he can. Sure. We haven't had any overseas talk yet, but I know that if it does come up, it may come down to me putting my career on hold, but that's fine with me. As long as you are open to the possibilities, I think you're in a way better place than yeah. I was in just a couple months ago. <laughs> if you were to think back five years ago, would you think that you would be dealing with a long distance marriage no, no. from Russia? No. Absolutely not. Not at all. I want to be beside my husband no matter what, no matter where we go. Where's Bridget? It's nice to see so many people come out and support the program at New Heights. Hi. Can I see Robin Munch books? Lucky guy. Can I have a hug? Are you Are those Robin Munch books? Are you so happy? You lucky guy. Ryder a year ago probably wouldn't have walked into the banquet room. Hi. How you doing? More books for Dad Reed. He's come a long way. We're eating. It was so fun. I loved the game, so I might start playing golf now. <laughs> nice you guys buy steaks for us. I'm really happy to be here, and it feels good to be a part of something that means so much. Did you guys have fun? Good. Did you guys do axe throw? Yeah. Very good, actually. Takes a bit of practice. Now I just have to get through my speech without losing it. Sorry, I know you're eating, but can I just steal you for a second? Just need a little pep talk from Bridget so I could kind of relax. Okay, so I just have to get through my speech. But you know, I always cry when I talk about Ryder. And if you're gonna cry, then take a minute, take a drink, and cry. My yeah. guess is you won't be the only one crying. Because <laughs> if you're gonna enough. cry, I'll probably end up crying too. You think Tiffany will cry? <laughs> probably. <laughs> You'll be great. You're passionate about it, and so it's gonna be honest and sincere, and everyone's gonna love it. She's so calm and she just has such good, positive energy. It'll be great. 
Thank you. I just needed to breathe a little bit before my speech, and she's the perfect person to do that with. Ryder was born in Vancouver when Jason played for the Canucks, and the following season we moved to Phoenix, where he played for the Coyotes for four years. Ryder had only attended one half day of school when we received an email from the school director. Ryder, only three, wasn't a good fit, and there was something wrong with him, and was asked not to return. We were upset, hurt, and confused. After going through all the tests, we were informed that Ryder had autism. I had a lot of fear about what this would mean for our sweet little boy. Sorry. Jason and I made the decision that it was best the kids and I returned to our home in Calgary, where we have a network of friends. And I began the process of getting back on the wait list for therapists. Ryder didn't deserve this. In comes New Heights. Ryder, now six, has been absolutely thriving. He loves his school and his therapists. And so do I. <laughs> he now talks just for the sake of talking, speaking about everything he observes. It takes a village to raise a child, and I'm proud to count New Heights and every single one of you here as part of our village. Ryder has taught me so much about life and about myself. I wouldn't change Ryder's diagnosis for the world. He is absolutely perfect and the most amazing person I have ever met. He's the love of my life. Thank you again, everyone, for being here today and supporting New Heights. about Ryder it makes me tear up and what's funny is everyone's like you're not a crier I'm like well I'm a mom I definitely look at Codette differently after that you really got a good sense of what kind of heart she has and how great of a person she is in this moment we're all connected because we're here for Codette and I think we can all find common ground in that there's cattiness but it's like having 20 sisters Maybe you don't get along with all of them, but at the end of the day, everybody gets together and like supports each other and helps each other out. Oh my God! Oh my God. <gasps> Man, what the f are you doing? It's not even an option to follow Brandon to Vancouver. I think that's what makes both of us so stressed. It's just water. No, it's go just like go. You chill. situation i've just been like on the verge of tears for like days <sighs> i'm just overwhelmed i like i'm so happy everyone was here i don't know honestly it's just everything wow. it's okay you can you can decompress over the next couple days all right because you're sending me to the spa <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you want and then has a bag to figure out the rest of our life Right? Yeah. It's okay. Do like a couple liners to the camera. Perfect. So we're gonna start with slow motion and then after we're going to switch back. Okay. We had such a good summer. Now I'm back to work in Montreal. I'm on set for my new show, Fed Comme Chez Vous. In English, it would be Life From My House. It's four singer musicians that are going to compete against each other and create a show at their own place. So that's a new concept. On l'Est de Montréal, c'est Richard Nicolas. Taxi! I can't wait for the show to start. It's not even an option to consider leaving what I've been working on for 10 years and follow Brandon to Vancouver. And I think that's what makes both of us so sad. I just can't focus. Look at the mess you're making. I know. It's a funny feeling. It's just, that's how it is. Okay. You want apples with your cottage cheese? It's hard to know what Brennan's thinking. 
right now. Watch out, I'm making breakfast. So painful. You're painful. Talk to me. I know he's stressed. I know he's nervous. He doesn't really want to leave. Not because he's not excited of what's coming up in Vancouver, just because he has to say bye to all our friends. And I know it's, I think it's hard for him. He doesn't really show it, but I can feel it. Um. We're gonna miss the most about me. Oh, your bad breath. <laughs> I never have bad breath. Probably coming home with you after my games. Honestly, I won't miss going to everything. That's a tough schedule. It's a tough schedule. It is. It's a tough schedule to go to a hockey we'll game. We'll have a life and a career and <laughs> oh go to Oh my every god. One it's of like, oh, not another game. <laughs> I like to go to games because you're there. <laughs> it's like a, going to hockey games. It's so exhausting. It's not exhausting, but after a long day of work. I think he's gonna miss me more than I'm gonna miss them, actually. Do you want me to show you how the oven works before I go? So this is the on button here. When you do that, that thing turns hot, and then you can cook food on it. It's such a jerk. We like laughing. I don't think that our fighting is vicious or trying to like demolish the other person to make us feel better. It's so far from being that. It's always on the entertainment side. I'm gonna slice some tomatoes. That will be the day. Oh my God. <gasps> Babe, what the f are you doing? I thought I was in the sink. What is wrong with you? It's just water. No, I just think. No. You chill. Are we gonna survive or are we gonna drown? I'm gonna drown. I should meet a girl in Vancouver. I won't be meeting anybody in Vancouver. I would be a hypocrite saying that I am not scared of Brandon finding another girl. Everybody has those fears. It's like I can't quantify how long it's gonna be like. It's like it can seem short, like four months, but then, but then I think about it and it's like, it sounds completely you're gonna be working every day. It's gonna, honestly, it's gonna fly by. Am I ready to be separated from my fiance for four or five months? No. Do I know how I'm gonna make it work? Nope. What if you forget about me? What if you meet a girl in Vancouver? I won't be meeting anybody in Vancouver. That's why I brought your picture. I would be a hypocrite saying that I am not scared at all of Brandon finding another girl or getting feelings for someone else. Everybody has those fears. Are you scared I'm going to meet someone? It's not that hockey thing that bothers me. It's the life we had here. like this. Yeah. All the things that they take for granted, right? Yeah. That we can't really do anymore. I have this feeling that this obstacle will make us a lot stronger. And I feel like if it happened, it's because it had to. I want you to never say no to face them. What if I'm sleeping? I don't sh I can wake up and pick up the phone. Promise? Yeah. Seasons will change, but I know I'll see you again. I'm tired. I only have three days of driving. I'm leaving Calgary today. The start of this hockey season is here, and I'm about to be the new girl again. <sighs> a new team, a new city, making new friends. 
can't help but have that in the back of your head. I'm driving out east with my girlfriend Maddie, and Jason's gonna fly out and meet me with the boys. You're gonna go on an airplane with Dad. That'll be fun. Are you ready for a road trip? Are you ready for a road trip? Oh, God. I know that we're ready to go, and we need to go. We need to be a family. I love you. I'm gonna go say bye to Ryder, okay? My biggest fear about leaving Calgary is that Ryder's okay and that he's comfortable. I'm gonna go in the car now, okay? Oh, can I stay with him? Yes, you can. I'll see you on Sunday, okay? I love you. Everything's about hockey. Like, get over it. What happens if you go into labor and Carrie has a game? I don't know. The GMs will say this, the coach will say that. I feel like that they just play with his mind, and I'm just tired of it. I don't like being depressed. Nobody does. It's miserable. But my biggest concern is actually bringing Dan down. I have a wedding to plan. Oh, our team is so beautiful. That's some stress. I think that seeing me completely demolished is what I heard him the most. No, no, no. I want to cuddle and take advantage of those last moments. Stop playing hockey. 